Chris, how exciting is it to be back for another pre-season, your first at Oxford United? Yeah, uh, looking forward to it. It's uh, another new season, uh, sun's out. Um, looking forward to the players coming back and meeting the players, of course. Um, some of which I've worked with in the past, but the majority I haven't. So, um, yeah, it's an exciting time for every every football club. And, of course, on the back of the European Championships now, it's you know, football just seems to roll on, doesn't it? But, One uh, word answer. Is it coming home? Absolutely. Good. So, let's move on to the Oxford United side of it. For the people at home, um, tell us a bit about your background in sports science. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I started, I suppose, in the, in the early 2000s. So, been around uh, a little bit and I've been very fortunate to have some some experiences at different clubs I, I started at Portsmouth went up to uh, Blackburn Rovers went over to work in the States uh, for a bit and then came back to the UK and worked at uh, as I say at Blackburn and um, yeah so I, I'm I'm now here at Oxford so looking forward to the opportunity you have big shoes to fill Mr Chris Shaw has moved on one of the nicest men in football we're in good health aren't we Absolutely, yeah. I mean, Chris has Chris has moved. I, I've known Chris for years, and uh, he's a great guy. And, and Oxford were were really uh, fortunate to to have him working with them. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm here now, and uh, and Harry Routledge has joined us as well. Um, so Harry's come in to, to effectively uh, to replace Chris as Chris has moved on. Um, so we've got a really healthy team with Amy and her medical team as well. So across the performance department, we're uh, we're, we're well stocked. Yeah. Firstly, really excited to be here, excited for the, the prospect and where I think the club are going. So that's a really exciting opportunity for myself and I think what the club have got in the past two years, I think it's trying to build on that going forward. Yeah. Um, last season was at Fleetwood Town, working with Joey Barton. Previously to that, I've worked in the US, in the MLS, in the States and um, small stint in the Premier League and also in, in Australia. What do you find here at Oxford United? The strength and conditioning, the sports science, it's in a pretty good state that you join it, isn't it? Yeah, I think, obviously Chris Short's moved on, but he's left the, the department and the, the club in a really good place, so it's building on that and taking it forward and sort of making sure we, we get the most out of the players and making sure that we can give the fans what they want to see on a, on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, obviously the accent will give it away, you're not from around these parts. <laughs> Um, you've now moved down to the warmer, much more welcoming south. How are you finding that? You say warmer, but it's rained for the past 10 days I've been here, so let's hope... Uh, it's a blip. Let's hope <laughs> <okay. laughs> so the, the, the sun comes out. Yeah, I'm from, from up north originally, but like I say, I've been, been all over the world, so I've not really been in the UK a lot for a sustained period of time, but um, no, beautiful part of the world, so really excited to be down there. Uh, I think part of this as well is a, a joined up effort across the whole club as well, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I, I think it's really important now, uh, you know, for clubs to to look not just at the first team, but really that progression and that pathway into the first team for our junior athletes, for our junior players through the academy, and, and also our women's team, and then into the community, looking at some of the the programs, the disability programs, and so on. That you know, inclusion programs for us in the community. So I think. Yes, it's certainly broad. It's a broader uh, aspect than it, than it may have been in the past, for example. But uh, just trying to integrate those methodologies, I suppose, from a first team level and what uh, the manager's trying to achieve at that level, but also through the different pathways and the different systems around the club. 